It's time for another horror convention walkthrough video. Anyone know where we're going? You probably read the title, so... But anyway, here's the hint. Come on. Hey, it's Chris here in Houston, Texas. We're at Days of the Dead 2023. Hop in the wagon, loser. Come on, Franklin. It's gonna be fun. Welcome back to the channel for another horror convention walkthrough video. I wanted to set the stage for Days of the Dead Houston 2023. I'll start by saying that if you want to compare this to other similar themed conventions at similar locations, I'll just leave it that the show could be considered intimate. So that being said, there's something about smaller shows that's pretty great and that's the accessibility to the celebrities. So shorter lines if lines at all plenty of time you never feel rushed they're genuinely listening to you and um, it's just a good time so small show friday was very small but saturday made up for it and it ended up being a good time so i won't speak too much about the venue as i already did more of a breakdown of the marriott west chase on my last houston video which you can check out here <laughs> and uh <laughs> So, um, but for meals, like we almost completed a 24 hour challenge without leaving the property. We, we spent a lot of time at the hotel restaurant and the bar ordering food there, which comes from the same kitchen and everything was above average for that we ordered. I was, I was very impressed with the food. Um, I think we did some nachos at one point, burgers, uh, typical bar food, but they did have some fancier offerings as well. Um, that Saturday morning, we did sneak over to Excellent Cafe and Bakery, and they did not disappoint. They're located just hop, skip, and a jump next door where some of the other uh, food offerings are in the Strip Center. Um, the cosplay was fantastic on Saturday. Had another appearance by the Predator. It looked like he had picked up a couple more Xenomorphs from the last time I had seen him. And uh, yeah, just some really great cosplay overall. Very impressive. Um, so the vendors, as always, the highlight for me, I like seeing who's there, what they're selling. So uh, we did have a chance to speak with a couple of them that were kind enough to take time out of their day to uh, just talk to us a little bit and kind of feature their booth, who they are, where they're from, and, and what they've got for sale. So um, in the future, if you're a vendor and want to be featured on the channel, please send us a message, contact us through the socials, and we will definitely stop and talk to you. We would love to hear how you got started, what's your selling, uh, pros and cons, whatever, you, just anything you want to do to help promote your business, that's uh, one of the main purposes of these videos. So, But um, Mark at Disco Bloodbath, always a pleasure. His stuff is so cool. Uh, the 6 by 6 boxes that you see with the 3D artwork, and the they're so cool. He's always turning out great new stuff, and he kind of explained to us a little bit of his process, which I think you'll find very interesting. Jackie Offline has a booth that you cannot miss. It has a little bit of everything. She has the coolest stuff. Um, specifically earrings, if the ladies, if you're thinking, man, I wish I had a set of earrings that were this themed or that themed. And Jackie's probably already made them, so check her out. Uh, she's great. Headstone Hot Sauce was there. Uh, Houston local business. Uh, very good stuff. Uh, you could try it out. We picked up a bottle because it was that good. Some of them get a little spicy, so proceed with caution. Rotten Apple Art Designs always has a unique, colorful, inviting booth with bright colors, uh, all your favorite horror characters um, lit up by black light with these fluorescent paints and stencil work that is top notch. Uh, my favorite is the Ash from Evil Dead. I'm going to be picking that up at the next show, as well as the Night of the Living Dead, uh, American Werewolf in London. They've got them all. They uh, Christine was nice enough to explain a little bit of her husband's process on one of the more elaborate designs, which was a Chucky design. Amazing to see the stencil work on this thing. Um, Rotted Threads had my favorite Evil Dead Rise shirt there. A really cool technique that they're doing with his shirts. And uh, I would have bought it, but I was already wearing my Ellie shirt uh, for when I met Alyssa Sutherland. So I will catch you 
at the next show, Rotted Threads. Um, and the tape help. We did not get to speak to them until we were on our way out, but I don't want to not mention them, and we will definitely feature them at the next show. They're taking the horror graphic tee design game and turning it on its head with some super unique processes, designs, and just super original stuff you don't see at any other booth. So take help, don't sleep on it. Um, the Q and A's were great. So there was several um, Aliens cast reunion, Night of the Living Dead. Uh, Bill Johnson had his own um, Friday the 13th cast that was in uh, attendance. They did one on Sunday that I unfortunately missed. Bill Mosley was on Sunday, I unfortunately missed. But please check out Dolls of Horror podcast and their YouTube channel. They were the moderators of all of the Q&As and I believe they travel around with Days of the Dead conventions. And they are just top notch at um, asking the questions, keeping it moving, and then of course uh, recording the content and presenting it for everyone up on their YouTube channel. So please go check out Dolls of Horror podcast um, YouTube channel to see these amazing Q&As. For me, uh, the celebrities that I had to meet or were on my list, I finally met Warrington Gillette, Jason Part 2. This guy is hysterical and never short for words. Um, growing up, Part 2 was always the most frightening to me. I guess it was the sack, the overall combo, the one eye, just the backwoods creepy. Uh, did not like when I was little, but uh, was happy to talk to Warrington and, and ham it up and have him sign my NECA figure. Too cool. Um, and then Alyssa Sutherland was dreamy as expected. She was such a sweetheart and she signed my Necronomicon, um, Stay Evil from Your Favorite Maggot Mommy. Uh, it was really cool and she wanted to talk to me about uh, having Sam Raimi sign it. She thought that was pretty rad so she had to flip through and, and see that for herself. If I had to assign a favorite guest, it was no question Kimberly Beck, Trish Jarvis from Friday the 13th Part 4. She's Tommy's older sister. She knocks the mask off of the gross face Jason at the end of part four. So I had her sign right up by uh, the machete mark, you know, that Chris originally put in, not me, Chris with a K from part three, put in Jason in the barn at the end of part three. But uh, I'm sure you already know that, so I'll stop. For Sam, uh, he's a huge Night of the Living Dead fan, so when he found out the cast was going to be there, he was no brainer, he's like, I'm there got to meet him, got to get him to sign uh, his Mondo poster, which he did. This green ink looked so choice on this poster. But um, Russ even uh, did a special voice message for his wife. And uh, also, Russ let us try on George Romero's signature sunglasses. So while we didn't look as cool as George Romero from the set of Night of the Living Dead, we felt as cool as George Romero from the set of Night of the Living Dead. So I hope you enjoy this uh, abbreviated short walkthrough of Houston Days of the Dead, and we'll see you on the next video. It's a full moon. Beware the moon and stick to the road. Oops.
Stopping by the Clown Cafe, your favorite meals on wheels. The menu is disgusting and it's full of special deals. Nothing here is good for Jason, 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 mother is mother talking, is talking, talking. talking.
So like Chris said, with it being a smaller show, it was more low key, less crowded, and it gave us more of an opportunity to meet with the vendors and kind of get their backstories and how they got started. So here are just a few of the vendors that we got a chance to talk with. And if you'd like to be featured on one of our future videos, please just reach out to us and uh, we'll try to make that happen or just hit us in the back of the head with a rock next time you see us at the show. My name is Christina Perez. Uh, I'm with Rotten Apple Art Designs. My husband's the artist, Bobby Perez. Um, what he does is he actually hand draws stencils. Sometimes some of these can take up to 20 stencils like this one. He hand cuts each stencil. So again, think about how many stencils there are. Some of them are very simple. Might only take three or four stencils depending on how many or how detailed he can get on it but then they can go up much higher, put a lot more detail in it. And then after he's done cutting, he will layer them out and make these beautiful color patterns on them. He then, after he's all done, he's gonna go over and do hand detailing on the face, around the outline to just give it that extra pop on top of it. Um, and then once he's done, he covers it with um, a UV protectant so people can put it in their house and it should last forever. He also spray paints the side so you can see you get a little bit of definition on the side. It is on wood, cabinet grade plywood. We are heavy on Facebook, um, which is under Rotten Apple Art Designs. Um, and then our Instagram is Rotten Apple Head. Um, so the name of my business is The Unique Peach, and I make a bunch of just spooky stuff. I do a lot of stuff for holidays as well, like Christmas and Thanksgiving. Um, so I do a lot of like ghost figurines, but um, I started out doing the painted wine bottles, so that's kind of how I got started, and then um, art prints and stuff like that. So. so online, I have a website where you can buy pretty much anything you want for the spooky season. It's theuniquepeach.com. And then for my Instagram, it's Georgia T with a T Canfield, like a cannon field. That will give you a link to pretty much everything. We'll give you a link to my makeup website where I do special effects makeup and stuff like that. So, for example, this is the boat cover that you then oh, wow. altered and then. Oh, how cool. Yeah, so I'll get like uh, like photos, usually like Vogue or I'm doing also like Playboy and other ones like that. And then I also do painting. I like your All My Exes died in Texas. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah, we sold out of this one. That's yeah, great. We sold out of this That's one. That's a killer. And uh, the Shining one. Yeah. Also, that we do with yeah, the we had the Shining that one. We bought that one online. Um, we're going to open up a shop. This is our okay. first time, like, actually, we're starting our, like, little brand or yeah, whatever, yeah. Pink Health. So we're gonna open up a shop online and then start doing like pre order and sell, pre drop, stuff cool. like that. Awesome. Hi, I'm Jackie Offline. This is my business. I started the company in 2021. I focus mainly on horror, spooky, like custom accessories. So yeah, there's a little bit of everything for everybody. Um, I mostly do like horror stuff, but there's regular stuff too. And yeah. This is my funky one of a kind. <laughs> I'm on JackieOffline.com or you can go to my Instagram and my website is there as well. It's JackieOffline1 and yeah. <laughs> uh, what's up guys? My name is Jaime. Uh, we're from the Valley. So it's my brand. It's called Rotted Threads. I'm trying to bridge that gap between I guess somewhat with horror music inspired, sometimes sports inspired and with like a more designer aesthetics, so yeah. a lot of my stuff is very uh, it's a little bit more high end. I try and do the specific cut and sew. Um, just try to get you know more onto that something that hasn't been done before. Uh, this was my exclusive for this pop up, so I have the uh, Terrifier and the Evil Dead Rise. Like I said, so it's just pretty much trying to do designer but make it you know grimy or just add something something that hasn't been done. Y'all can find me on uh, Instagram at the real Rotted Threads, R O T T E D, Threads with a Z at the end, RottedThreads.com. Headstone Hot Sauce here in Houston, Texas. I'm at Days of the Dead Horicon, day three. So I do uh, handmade hot sauces here in Houston, Texas. I've been making them for about four and a half years. Uh, you can find me online at flavormortis.com or my socials, Flavor Mortis, one word. It's a combination of horror, hot sauce, all things painful and delicious. 
Hi, so my name is Mark Chavez and I, my company is Disco Bloodbath Art. I am a 3D shadow box artist and uh, I am based out of Los Angeles, California and also here in Houston, Texas. And I hand make uh, one of a kind 3D shadow boxes for some of my favorite horror movies, particularly from the 60s, 70s and 80s. Those are kind of my genre that I really love. But I threw in some more modern stuff as well. Uh, basically everything you see are movies that I personally personally love or that I love the artwork to, that I connect with in some way. Um, I've been there since the beginning. I uh, am 53 years old. I've been a horror fan since I was in my early teens. And I was very lucky uh, to be able to see a lot of these movies like Friday the 13th Part 2 and, and uh, the Amityville 2 yeah, in, in the theaters. So I got to experience a lot of that and uh, I um, decided to... Uh, pursue a career in art. I've always um, had a, uh, an artistic side to me mm -hmm. and so I decided to start making these uh, art pieces. Uh, it's kind of like an homage to uh, the movies that I love and the genre and the uh, era that I love too. So, um, and I, I, each one is unique. Uh, I'll hold one up and I can show you. Yeah. Like I, I add, uh, like for this one for instance, I hand paint the blood on the inside of the frame I also uh, hand add the um, the uh, glitter and the glue that's in there, and I add various embellishments. Uh, actually, I don't sell online, and because uh, I don't really mass produce any of these, and I don't, so I really you can only really find me at conventions, okay. and uh, I only do a few select conventions a year. Uh, the mains one I'm always at are um, Monster Palooza out in Burbank, California. I'm sorry, Pasadena, California. Then set of Monster Palooza in Burbank, California. And then I also attend um, uh, CreepyCon in Ontario, California. And I attend uh, CreepyCon Aftermath, also in Ontario, California. And then Houston Horror Film Festival. And uh, and that's pretty much it. I'll be doing Texas Frightmare, though, this year. I this next year, you, I'm sorry. You got approved. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, so I'm really that. looking forward to that. Uh, and yeah. I'll have a much bigger spot than this. Sure. Uh, so, but yeah. Uh, but uh, where you can you find me? You can find me on Instagram, okay. uh, Disco Bloodbath Art. You can find me on Facebook, Disco Bloodbath Art. Um, once or twice a year, I do have an online sale, and uh, you can find me on uh, Etsy on Disco Bloodbath Studio. So if you can see, everything here is real and preserved, so I work with sanctuaries all around the world. And so everything is basically lived its life to the fullest. Um, once something is passed due to natural causes, then I end up doing taxidermy on them, preserving them. Um, I work with all kinds of different specimens. And then I'm also a rock hound girl. Started collecting when I was three. And never stops. Once you start, you'll never stop. So I have different gems from Brazil, Madagascar, uh, all over the world. Um, I also specialize in aromatherapy, so Ritual and Moon Child are my best sellers, given the names, <laughs> and also Allergy Relief, which everything in Texas loves to kill us, right? Allergies, mainly. So it helps with um, watery eyes, runny nose, cough, and congestion. And then I also specialize in abstract paintings. Andy Warhol is my distant cousin. I'm actually with Warhol. And we spell it W-O-R-H-O-L. That's how we do the ears. So I love doing basically dark abstract, but everything has the message of love and light behind it. And in some of my paintings, when you actually shine light in the background, it will actually make them three-dimensional, and so the painting kind of comes to life with light. Awesome. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much me. Dark art with messages of love and light. So you can follow me on Instagram, which is Ashley Warhol Official, or the band Warhol the Band. Um, I do Facebook, and if you message us through the band, you're actually talking to us, which I love. My website is uh, Testament Design. You can Google it. It's, it'll pop right up the first one. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically me. Art and music and rocks. <laughs> So Chris and I just wanted to say thank you to all the vendors for uh, taking time out of their day and uh, telling us more about themselves and how they got started. And we did have a great conversation with the guys from Alternate Ending, but it turned out to be such a great conversation that we're going to give it its own separate video. So be looking for that in the future. Um, anyway, thanks again, everybody. Appreciate you watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Anyway, uh, Laser Wagon signing off. You're goddamn right. Goddamn right, laser, laser wagon. wagon. <laughs>
any more fun today. I don't think I'm going to be able to take it. 